Hello and welcome to the Rod Review. Today I will be going over the first episode of Season 3 of Netflix Umbrella Academy, titled Meet the Family. This episode was directed by Jeremy Webb and written by Steve Blackman, Jeremy Slater and Gerard Way. The family arrive back from the 60s to find a house inhabited by a different superpowered family. This team is highly trained and has ego problems. A fight breaks out between the two families, resulting in the old family being forced to retreat without the briefcase that enables them to travel through time. Wandering the streets, they decide to lay low, so they check into the Hotel Obsidian. Vanya tries to make a peace agreement with the Sparrow Academy's number one Marcus, which is spied upon by the rest of the Sparrow Academy. Meanwhile, Allison flies back to see her daughter, who she assumes still exists in this timeline. And an energy orb appears in the Sparrow Academy basement that their robot mother starts worshipping. At the end of the episode, the orb sends out a wave that consumes Marcus and the dog at the hotel, but no one else seems aware of its existence. As mentioned, this series introduces a new superpowered family. So far we haven't had much of an introduction to most of them or their powers. The exceptions to that are Marcus, who is super strong and tough, similar to Luther, but while also being athletic and coordinated. The woman who controls and sees through ravens she produces from her own body. She acts as the family spy in the city since ravens are everywhere. And one of them is a glowing floating cube that can only be understood by the other Sparrow Academy members. During the episode, Klaus talks to Hargreaves and is told that after their encounter in the 60s, Hargreaves was so disappointed with the Umbrella Academy that he made an entirely different selection of children the second time round. Interestingly, Hargreaves' relationship with his children is very different in this timeline him being effectively subordinate to them. After being spat with a hallucinogen, Diego sees the two families getting into a dance-off. It's a fun moment that lifts attention and serves as a callback to the very first episode, where everyone is dancing in the house after being reunited. If you like, how should I say, non-serious slice-of-life type superhero shows, then you should definitely watch this, as there's tons of humour, ridiculous moments, and even some good action in it. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. As with all YouTube videos, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.